Welcome back, you guys. Um, welcome back to my channel. And I'm here with my good friend, Alicia Leon from Cosmic Divine. And she is here to talk about with us of past lives, which I thought it was an interesting topic for us to talk about this time around. And if something else turns out, but I think there's a lot of things <laughs> to this topic. I will so. divinely guide this podcast. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Like it always does. <laughs> <laughs> so um, on the topic, um, have you or have you felt or remember any past lives that are like draws you most to like remembering anything? And then I'll tell my um, So with remembering any past lives, I really feel like I've always had like this residual energy of heaviness and um, it's embedded in me. And I always felt like this grief or this, uh, I don't want to say sadness, but this, this, I've always felt discrimination all my life. And I don't know, I used, I had to like really think outside the box. Like, is it because of my color? Is it because of like, I'm a woman? Is it because of my race? You know, I had to look at all these aspects of why I was holding in this energy of discrimination. In any past life energy, I've always, I've been told, and not only that, because I've entuned myself with Akashic Records, that I have been, in a sense, some sorcerer or witch. So witches are always, in a sense, um, you know, they're categorized as evil, they're categorized as taboo, they're categorized as, you know, uh, just something unnatural. And so... Um, within the past life energies that I've had and what I resonate is like, I'm always taking back to times where um, I was uh, killed or martyred or in a sense taunted or, and I felt like I was holding that energy in the aspects of the now, if that makes sense. And um, I feel like um, any witch from the past, because I have like a list of different past lives I've connected with. Um, I've had a sorcerer energy in one past life where I was a queen in my castle and I was afraid to come out that I was in tuned with my magic because back in like, you know, the knights and kings and queens time, the witches were considered very demonic and evil and, you know, they were all marked killed. They were just, you know, that wasn't a belief in. And so I had to hide who I was and it was hard because I knew that I had, I was somebody different and I've always felt like that my whole life. Like there's a different identity that I'm living in, but it doesn't, you know, how do I express this to the world? How do I express this to society? You know? And then when you read about these things in modern times, which is, were never like, uh, how can I put it? It's not something you can be proud of, or it was labeled as something just dishonoring and because of religion. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, same, I think. <laughs> um, as I've been working on this journey of, of awakening and, and spirituality, I sen I sense the same. I sense like judgment and like I have to be careful of my habits and the way I express myself, even if it's spiritual. And if it's something natural out of a person, like how can I deny myself if this is something natural to me? Mm -hmm. So I've had like remembrance of like the Salem witch stuff too and in in the back of my head um i've had dreams i remember being on it looks like an island and it, it looks very grease there's uh like, marble like, stones white marble stones on the floor and there's like a under there's a the villages are underneath and I've looked for this to see if it's somewhere around now and I can't find it. It's like a. Uh, why am I I'm being pulled to Greece or Greek? I don't know why I'm getting pulled for that yeah. to you. 
yeah that's, that's it's a- really pulling me into greek energy for you and uh again you could have been uh to me not a god but uh of a i don't know why i'm getting this energy of like have you ever and or i don't want to say a mistress or a uh I think I know you're going to say, but I'm going to wait and see if you see it. <laughs> I've, I've... Um, so a mistress or a maiden, you weren't something in power, which you had power. I don't know. This is kind of what I'm receiving. Um, There's a name for it. It's like um, they would um, smell the the fumes and get mm-hmm. and talk to the people. I forget the name of it. Yeah, you weren't. You were not a god or goddess in that time frame. You were a whole different energy. And I get what you're saying. They were like hidden in, I don't know if it was like in caves. I don't know if you're familiar with caves in this energy. That's just what I'm getting. Like you come from a different element and you were brought out. And this is like where you performed your energy. That makes sense. Where you performed energy in front of possible gods and goddesses. I remember like I was when it started to dream I'm I'm like almost taking care of a and it's weird that they were talking about this earlier too and then I remember it looks like a green statue monster looking thing coffin so I, I come out from there it looks like it's Egyptian but it's not Egyptian so I get out of there and I look and I'm walking like in sandals or almost barefoot I think it was barefoot and my my dress is white and it looks Greek it sounds, it, that's why I pulled to very much Greek energy mm-hmm. and then um again I think in every past life that you experience or you come up with you're connected to some type of mysticism, mysticism yeah you know and there's mysticism in all cultures you know and within all cultures you know it's always a taboo like this is enough like afraid or fear you know um i think what past lives are meant to do is help heal we're supposed to heal those residual energies why we feel we belong somewhere before or we know somebody we are connected to before is because we shared an experience in a prior lifetime And maybe things were not solved in that lifetime, or maybe in a sense you died and you, you know, or you didn't follow what your true path was because of fear. Um, A lot of people don't follow their true path because of fear. It's a fear. Everything's built based on fear. And so um, whenever someone's interested in a past life energy, it's basically trying to do some karmic illness healing or just healing and forgiving it and then transferring that energy from the past to present so that we can change the future so um i think like why you're experiencing your past lives is because no matter what era you're in you're going to be a witch (laughs) and i don't mean to call you that but that's just kind of generally the energy i'm receiving yeah yeah i'm always drawn to the the teas and candles and i told you this before though and i told you this i said you were drawn to be uh i think we had a conversation about this about you um being a healer but too i think you i said you know it was and if you don't mind me sharing about your isis energy yeah i don't mind yeah so I'm, I'm you were meant to be like primarily a mother healer that's why you're so in tune with like caring and nurturing and that again could be very much connected to your indigenous roots too from healing attributes as well um so i feel you know in order for us and just you or i or anybody uh, who's okay. going through past life experience should address these things and learn something from it it's like acceptance yeah there has to be some type of acceptance and how can we fix things now so with my past life experiences because i've always been afraid to express who i truly am or hiding or because i've had experiences again i was told i was a witch in salem and uh you know I, i connect myself to salem in some ways 
but I was burned at a stake. And sometimes past life energies can leave marks on our body that we don't, you know, recognize it's from a past life energy. I have a birthmark of a, it's a birthmark. You can barely see it, but it's light and dark all along my arm. And that's just from the experience of being burned. I was burned before. And in a past life, I was burned at a stake because of me being a witch. I was found, I was prosecuted as a witch and burned at the stake. Um, And this, this connection is to Salem. So I feel with fire, I've, I've been attracted to it more than afraid. It's just weird. I don't know, (laughs) because I do witchy stuff and do rituals and whatnot, but it's not a fear. I, and some people usually are, ha- have a fear of it. I think like, because I was very proud of what I did, it's just a fear of like other people, not me, that I was almost like, I, I surrendered. I, I surrendered because I was forced to surrender to be burned, but it's like, I kind of was just like, okay, I'm a witch, you know, but I was still burned. <laughs> <laughs> I was still burned at the stake. <laughs> and I, I have that I have that um, I find that interesting with the birthmarks I've seen that in my research with like every time um somebody's mm-hmm. born again or reborn or they come back a reincarnation mm-hmm. they'll have a mark um they'll have some type of mark yes uh, another time I've been recognized okay so I was bringing up how I got involved into my Aztec culture was because I had in my last lifetime I it brought up this god and forgive me if I say it wrong Exhibitotec and he was basically basically the flesh god and uh he was a god of plague and diseases for the face eyes and and whatever connection it was um I feel like this energy that people always have And just you, because you could recognize this too. Have you always felt like there's always been people afraid of you and no, you don't understand why? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and I'm like the quiet type and I don't know if it's because I have a bitch face. (laughs) I'm like, do I have a bitch face? (laughs) um, I think in every past life that I've dealt with, I've always been afraid. People have always been afraid of me no matter what. And I think through growing up, just having that feeling of discrimination and, you know, nobody likes me or just that energy of like feeling like a outcast. Yeah. That's all residual energy from my past lives, always feeling like I was attacked in some certain way because of who I am. And so, um, and I'm sure you can totally relate through that. Yeah, high um, school wasn't fun for me or school. No, my God. <laughs> not for me either. High school was hardest. I was actually, I got into, I was into gang related energy at that time and I got in trouble. So I was a bad girl. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I think that's the rebellious nature of my past life too. You know, there was rebellious energy. Um, so, I feel like right now I'm doing a lot of healing energy from my Aztec and my Spaniard um, because of the Spaniards attacking the Aztecs or taking over when, you know, they were, they came to Mexico. I think I'm doing a lot of healing on that. Um, The energies, you know, of forgiving both, forgiving my Spaniard roots in a sense and having peace with that. And I honor more of my Mexican roots because of the pain Mm. that they went through, you know? And I think that's why I'm more in tune with my Aztec culture because I'm trying to bring back the, get in tune more with that to bring back the lost, uh, I don't want to say civilization, but the lost information or bring it up to this, you know? And that belongs um, to you, that belongs to people so yeah i'm in this lifetime reclaiming my power i feel like that's what i'm doing in this lifetime is claiming my power back like i i am who i am i'm gonna i'm empowered by that um i'm not afraid anymore i think that every past life i've been afraid to express who i am Mm -hmm. and be and and just stand in that power because i've always felt powerless through this whole, my whole, I'm, I'm 43 years old and I've 
always felt like I was powerless. You look great, so, by the way. <laughs> you don't look like witches it. Witches look young. Witches look young. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you look young, too. So it's just part of, like, um, it's just a witch energy. Like, witches do look young. They can look really old, but then they can look really young. So I think that's part of that. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I think people want to go to past lives because they want to know how to cure illnesses. They want to know to help heal a family trauma. They want to know how to heal uh, karmic issues. It's all things that were not um, concluded in the past. Like there was no closure. There was no fixing it. So where we have this energy in the present of, and I think a lot of people, like we were talking about this, a lot of people are going through this right now, trying to get into their roots and trying to find out who they were and bringing that power back. And I think through all this pandemic, it's just shooken a lot of that up with people that they want to know the truth, their truth, their purpose. Yeah. And if, if people are looking to find like, cause I remember doing, going through this, if you're not sure, like you have a past life, the best thing, the way I would understand it is if you would have a finite a fan aficionate I can't even say the word if you are drawn to a certain certain culture or a certain place and you're not from that yeah. place you don't understand getting, then, yeah you don't understand why but you're drawn like you're everybody's drawn, drawn. Mm-hmm. you and everybody's- you like get emotional or get like I remember this place or I, I feel like I recognize I reckon that I've been here before that's probably yeah. your past life if you guys want to research more on that and mm-hmm. then from there you could get to what Alicia is saying like you could heal that part of you that way because it's I've... very easy to tap into Akashic Records to be honest it's um you know there's people who are recognized for that and that was Edgar Casey, which we were talking yeah. about and he was considered the holistic you know father of medicine because he could tap into Akashic Records and tell you what to do and uh fix it and he could he was considered a sleeping prophet so uh he was very open and in tune with you know his channel and it's very honestly easy to access your akashic records it's not a like i'm special you know yeah. it's just how do you in tune to it and it's through meditation and it's through being this channel and people can use med- meditation and people can use crystals to access their Akashic records is basically really in a relax. People used to consider it like you had to be hypnot, like in a hypnotized state. And in the 1950s, like psychiatric, the psychiatrists and mediums, that's how they did the, like getting into that subconscious. That's like how they had got in tune with the Akashic records. And um, so it's not a hard state to get in. It's more like you're just really relaxed um, and you're just like this deep relaxation mm-hmm. and uh, that you're tapping into that subconscious energy in a, in an awake state, you know? So it's very easy to access, to be honest. Um, it's not a hard connection and it's just allowing yourself to get there, you know, because some people are so fixated on how do I do it? Instead of just allowing it to happen. Yeah, and don't let your your left brain, don't let your thought like, ah, oh, this is fake. Oh, why am I doing this? Like, just re- just get into it and relax. And if you don't, you don't want to remember or you're hard to remember what you went through, just write it down for a minute. What mm-hmm. you went through as you meditated or whatever process you did to try well, to remember. That's why we tell people to keep journals at the side of their bed and then when you wake up and just write it down real quick because you'll forget in the morning I know I forget yep, me too. <laughs> I, I forget so much I'm like oh what the hell did I remember and then I have to like tap into it in a different way so I mean um there's Akashic Records is a whole different you know category when you can tap into your Akashic Records sometimes you don't even need that connection from a psychic or a medium anymore because you're connected to the book of life it's considered like the book of life um it's the uh and in 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 religious cultures it's considered like um 
there was, like I told you, that archangels that, that is connected to Akashic Records is Metatron. And so, again, people connect to Akasha Records through him. They use him as a source. But honestly, it's just really just connecting and being in a very relaxed trance state to get there. And so um, uh, if you're trying to connect in a past life energy, then I would really try to focus on how to just relax and connect. And you know what? You'll be gravitated to the crystals, too, to do so. Mm-hmm. And I have, uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have, go ahead. I don't know what you were going to say. Go ahead. I was going to say if it, because I know when I started it, it's hard. I found it a little frustrating to meditate, but if it, it's if it helps, so yeah, if it helps, put a good song in the back and low and wait till you're about to go to sleep. I know even if you fell asleep, yes. at least you tried and um, they say meditate what, how old your age is. So if you're, 20 take 20 Mm -hmm. minutes and try at least to meditate and if your mind starts to wander let it wander and just keep doing yeah because when you're going to tap into your akashic record your mind's just going to take off it's just gonna it's just going to wander into a different energy or time and frame and so you have to allow yourself to uh just not focus like concentrate too hard just just be just be and how I first got tapped into my Akashic Records, um, the reason how I got connected to it was um, through Metatron. That's crazy because I'm going to bring them up. That's how I accessed and started to do like Akashic Records. And um, he just kept showing me signs of him. And, you know, you got to pay attention to the universe. I'm very one of those pay attention to the universe kind of people. Sure. And he was just aligning things for me, aligning things. And, you know, the first time I got connected to him was through a Merkaba. Oh. And not sort of dated, you know, he's connected to the Merkaba. And then I um, just started seeing his imagery a lot and geometri- geometrical patterns, which people might notice this, the Merkaba grid. The- you know what? I should bring my notebook because that reminds me of, <laughs> maybe I did get <laughs> connected then because I draw sometimes and I was doodling. Oh, you do? And so I'm- you're doing some automatic writing possibly? Maybe, and I don't know. <laughs> and I'm just like, I got into a mood, and and, and it ended up looking like geometric, geometric. Okay, then that's probably him, because he started showing me, this is how I started to recognize uh, Metatron was through, and I bought this off Amazon, nothing special, but it, this is a crystal grid. It can help manifest and transform things. So Metatron is, in a sense, he transforms things. And in Akashic Records and getting into your past life energies, you're transforming energy. You're transforming your healing from past life uh, mistakes, trauma. Like, it it helps release that residual energy to help you uh, gain clarity and have power back and know truth. And then you speak your truth. You have knowledge on it. And then it changes your future instead of carrying it to your your next path, your next lifetime, we're carrying it to your grave. You know, it's just, it's some people want to know why, how come this, how come that some people even use it in the aspects to heal, like through their body, like their sickness. Mm-hmm. Um, like if people have like, uh, you know, something wrong with their liver, how, why do I have these issues? Sometimes, sometimes people tap into that. for like going back into a different past line. What, can, what kind of medicine can I use to fix it? Because I've had people even ask me, what can I use to solve this? And you'll get those questions. And I had to tap in and, you know, and go, this is what you need. And they were like, oh, well, I got this. They've already been attuned and bought some of the stuff. <laughs> you just have they, to go with the flow, even if. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've I mean, I've had, I've had connections with past life clients you know I had some people have breakthroughs you know I have clients that had found break breakthroughs the you know with their fears there's a lot of fears or addressing like family trauma you know um that's happened from prior lifetimes not this lifetime but prior and we're just healing that family trauma so that it doesn't continue so we're we're being called in a sense to access it, it's free. <laughs> you don't have to pay for it unless you're having someone access mm. it for you. 
but it's free to access. And it's just, you know, being really in tune with yourself. So the crystals that I've used um, to access Akashic Records, I was really drawn to this crystal and I didn't know why, but I saw it online. One of the Instagram follower, Instagram uh, crystal uh, shops online that I follow, she just, it just was very beautiful. And I was drawn to it and it's called Kumbaba Jasper. And when I read on it, it was access to Akashic Records. Look at that. So this is a nice crystal to connect to if you're trying to access past life or just information on who you were or what, why you have these confrontations with people. Who were you with this person in the past lifetime? This is great to find out your energy of past life. Another crystal I want to bring that I was gravitated to was petrified wood. And this helps really with karmic um, healing of family healing, like okay. trauma. So I think this would be great for you. It's petrified yeah. petri wood. And I've actually uh, have rec recommended some of my clients to buy it, you know, so that they can do meditative work with it. Um, also, clear quartz, of course. It's, it's connected to our, you know, crown chakra. And uh, another one that, you know, uh, solacite, I don't have that with me. It's a white crystal, but it's called solacite. Have, I, do you have that? I had some, but the thing is, I went inventing with myself, you know, with <laughs> witchy stuff. <laughs> and so the, you were, you were had, meant to have it. You were meant to have it to yeah. help you feel or get tapped in with your Akashic records. Yeah, I melted it, I think, with the water. There's like a little piece of oh, it left. Not selenite. Not selenite. Oh, not selenite. okay. Selenite is this. Sol oh. is solicite. Solicite or solicite. It's white. Mm -hmm. And I'll send you a picture of it. Okay. I'll give you a picture of it, what it looks like. So um, really, I think it's important people for people to access their Akashic records to help any trauma that they're dealing with. And I think that's what I'm doing in this lifetime mm -hmm. is I'm accessing that fear that mm -hmm. I've always dealt with in that discrimination and that... Uh, how people just attacked me because of who I was and now I'm proclaiming my power back and I'm using my voice and in a sense speaking my truth and following my truth and that's why I am in tune with like what I do now and yeah. it's beautiful it's Same. beautiful I'm not regretting it now I mean I wish I would have known this knowledge maybe in my 20s <laughs> Same. <laughs> I think it's the same for me. That's why I think I went because I had, and I will say it here, I had kind of gave gave given up on my YouTube channel because I was gonna do other things on there. How are you? Yeah, but then like, um, since this happened, since it, what's going on this year, there's nothing else to do, and I'm like, well, let me get back to what was I doing? Um, and it was like I was back into this. I'm like, you know what? I can't deny this part of me anymore this is who I am um I'm like this and I'm gonna help I want to help others go through if they've been through the same as I have and I've been through I grew up in a haunted place and back in the 90s there wasn't a lot of help for other people like oh this is just this if I would have had something like this back then it would have been over with much quicker <laughs> yeah than the I agree. Of therapy that we went through. <laughs> you could have solved this a long time ago, right? And I feel like again, if you're trying to heal, access something of why, how come you were connected to this time frame? Because even people can share past life experiences, and you like you've known this person before, you yeah. met him in a different lifetime, and some people will connect that to twin flame or soul connections. But again, it's still past life energy and. Mm -hmm you were sharing an energy with them in the past life. And I feel like a lot of people do come into that kind of energy of like trauma in a relationship, but they had trauma in a past life. And um, they're here again to meet again and fix it. And it just, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. you know, and then it just, again, it will just, that residual energy will just stay there. So, um, I just think because of the times we're in, everybody wants to know who they are. And that's why these like 23 and me are popular. And the, what else is the ancestry? Like the all ancestry. of those like um, DNA kind of like, who am I? 
everybody wants to know their roots nowadays. Like, who am I? They're what is my up. roots? They, they don't not, have the TV. They're entertaining them anymore. <laughs> they have no, to look no, first. They have the thing. I think <laughs> through the pandemic, I mean, I wish I could have meditated more, but I had my <laughs> baby a lot of the time. <laughs> so that was like, I can't concentrate. Yeah. <laughs> but I right. think like, um, you know, it did give me, it, I think it did help me go, you know what? Um, I, I started to entune myself more in magic, more than meditating because meditation was hard with kids running around. I think I was able to access magic more. I was more into my magic and my witchy stuff through this pandemic and rituals and whatnot. Yeah, it got me back into my spiritual, it got me back into my spiritual space again. I'm like, Mm -hmm. you know what? This is it. This is what I am. I know a lot of people are, had no choice but to to look at themselves this year and like, figure that out. Mm -hmm. There was no distractions. There's nothing, no no work. There's, that's, they have to figure themselves out this year. And I think because of that, it's like they're preparing people or the spirit or they're preparing well, a, for something. It's, it's in a sense, we're getting enlightened and we're seeking our truth and speaking our truth. We're, uh, we're connecting ourselves. So uh, Metatron's connected to the, pl- I think it's a platinum ray and it's even the connected higher to a higher source. And so I think a lot of people are in a sense, um, just getting all these you know, because I, I, I walked around my whole life going, who am I? Who am I? And what is, I've done that most of, I'm going to say most of my life. <laughs> and never, if I, I kid you, if I would have just accessed my Akashic records then, and even if I had the dreams and the, the memories, I still wasn't in my, you yeah. know, connected. Same. <laughs> it took me a while to figure Probably. it out why I was dreaming that stuff. <laughs> No, and it just brings what it does is just it just brings resolution. It's basically you're resolving something. You're you're closing you're closing a book. You're like, okay, I figured it out. That's what you're doing. You're resolving this issue so that you live a happier life. So mm-hmm. some people even use Akashic records for business. Like, what is my sole purpose and what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so people will access the Akashic records to see what they're meant to do so that they can have a a better future and so it's accessed on every point not just past lives it's access on healing body it's healing the mind body spirit it's helping us to live our truth it's helping us to bring clarity it's helping us to awaken so past i think tapping into the kashuk records is in a sense a step forward into evolution Mm -hmm. evolving and that that way we can forgive our past that way we oh. could move on. <laughs> some, yeah, that's we're gonna... Sometimes you'll get sometimes with the Kashuk records too, you'll you'll get certain dates and locations and times. Like some people can actually access the time and the names, you know, like I some people I've had access, I've had a reading with a client that was actually access to a very like she was source of like uh, I think she was Mary. Like Mary, oh, mother wow, of God. That's beautiful. It was I've had people like who come to me with powerful connections to who they were were in their past life, just like you. You know, and it's like, oh, now I know why or how come I was why I like this certain, you know, like gold for you is connected in all your past lives. I just want you to know that. Gold is very significant in each lifetime gold <laughs> is connected to you. Gold. And I think that's just it. You'll find you'll you'll find that out. Like why you're connected to gold so much? It's because of who you were in a past life, and your connections in your past life. Um, there was another um past life that I was, um, in a sense. Well, someone had tapped into my akashic records, and we when I was learning how to access it which if you guys are interested, I can put out a name for somebody. She's a beautiful energy I found on. And that's how I found her too, was how to learn it was through another source on Instagram. Social media is amazing. Yes, yes it is. (laughs) Metatron Metatron kept um, aligning me with certain people in my life. And I was like, 
oh my God, I want to do this. And that's how I got in contact and started doing like the Kasha records and connecting to Metatron. And it's just, you have to listen to the universe on how there's, how it's speaking to you, how it's presenting itself. Don't pass anything up as a message because memories, we, when we have these memories, we don't understand that's a residual energy that you're living with that you need to tap into and figure it out and fix it. And that way you can make some progress in that understanding and it's a liberate, it's a liberating. And so it just helps us like, Oh, have that big aha moment. Mm -hmm. And, and it changes our jobs, our, maybe our connections and it changes our future. So I feel like it's a beautiful thing. Um, you don't mind me sharing her because I mean, I don't no. even think she, no. her name is, um, I, I'll connect you to her. She's, she's in a sense that helped me get the, help me in tune with Metatron to help me learn the Akashic records. And I, and I feel like my guides divinely, they, they divinely guided me to her. And I was like, I'm not going to pass this up. So I I just, I'm stuff. glad and I'm thankful that I was, you know, we're all being divinely guided to certain yeah. people to help us, you know learn and um you know go give those aha moments so i don't i don't pass up signs for nothing no. i go Ooh, that's a sign <laughs> i believe in that i believe in sequencity <laughs> i really do because it always mm-hmm. turns out to be oh that's why this was happening da, 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 da. <laughs> and, and I've even had, uh, you know when even too i've had memories of not getting along with certain people in my past life because i'm a i've had that light and dark energy i've always had this with other witches and i don't know if you understand me but you can tell another witch do you ever get that like you can you kind of recognize that they're a witch even though they haven't said it yes not even if they're not dressed <laughs> like even if yeah, they're not left, you just then, know you just yeah. know i've yeah. had people tell i've had people tell me i'm a witch and and when i started accessing this through my records i was like well damn I, I denied I denied it for a while and people would be like you no no I'm like I just do teas and stuff <laughs> yeah. but yeah that's that's funny you say that because I, I remember now people even my like people that don't know me like you do like, eh, a little bit <laughs> I don't think I hide it anymore that's what what my that's what my access to my acoustic records was about is to not be afraid anymore and I think that's what I'm doing in this lifetime is proclaiming my power proclaiming that I am proclaiming the I am a witch the proclaiming that like expressing and especially it's helping me in tune with my Aztec culture and my roots and proclaiming that healing attributes from that and so I'm aligning how I'm supposed to make things work. I'm from all the fear I had in the past and how I was attacked or, you know, I was killed in lifetime. So uh, I'm, I'm learning to, in this lifetime, not to be afraid of what people say about me. You know, I'm not like going to hold that fear anymore. And I think that's helping me. It's helped me heal a lot of this inner insecurity and and uh, doubt and uh, it's just a very empowering energy that I received from it and I'm glad I did access it because I don't think I would be here talking to you about this right now <laughs> yeah I feel this I'm I'm getting I'm done hiding stuff I'm like this is who I am I'm a little out there you know I'm, I do things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know people aren't going to care at the end of the day no one really cares like your stuff it's no. your, like, it's funny that we, we worry about that so much. And at the end of the day, they're like, no one really. Well, fear, fear is like a number one reason why transformation doesn't come about is because we're fearful. And if we're going to live in fear, then we're not solving anything in this lifetime. We're not solving anything in this present moment. And I think that, you know, because we're living in a state of fear right now with our world and this time that we're in everybody is living with a fear base and um you know spirituality is like something that people are accessing more because it's it can either gravitate them to that understanding or that belief or you know that healing so i've had noticed a lot of people want to come for like past life readings or 
just tuning into something of spiritual to help them through this crazy time that we're in. Mm -hmm. And I've seen, I've seen some great, you know, stories from, I've seen people uh, actually learn, they're working on their healing. They're working on their power. They're working on their connections. I, and I feel very like, I'm thankful I'm being used for that, you know, but I also want to know, tell teach that you can access this too. You can do this too. It's nothing. I'm just, I, I learned to entune myself. That's it. That's yeah. pretty much what it comes down to. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. That's so beautiful. meditation is important. Mm-hmm. I think really when you meditate and learn to tap into that subconscious energy and really, we really tap into it right before we fall asleep. Like it's that transitioning where we're going into, that's kind of when our subconscious is like, we're half asleep, but we're half awake. And some people, um, to access, they, they have to be in that trance state the whole time. And some people can do it with just like me and you talking, I can, they can connect to it, you know? So it's just like a practice. It's just basically practice. It's not, you know, I'm better than you or, you know, it's practice, practice, practice. So it's not a, and that's why I brought up those crystals because that can help you with meditation connecting and, um, and, and aligning with that past life energy. So, and, um, if anybody's interested, Alicia does have a website and is it a website or is it, um, part of the, well, I, it's not my shop. It, I do have my Instagram and then I'm doing YouTube more or less. I'm doing uh-huh. YouTube through like astrology messages, uh-huh. <laughs> just like being creative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so please, please, I'm going to put her stuff below and from, I'll always try to have her links down below. Cause I have, she's part of the classes over there too. She's going, uh-huh. she's I'm my now. classmate. Haunted, <laughs> Haunted, Haunted, Diary. Diary. Haunted Diaries, which has been amazing. It's, it's yes. been amazing. I mean, some of the stuff I know, but some of them I'm like, oh, I didn't know that one. Exactly. It's great to always keep learning, always keep learning for like, we're never going to stop learning. Never. So it, please feel free. She's really good. I've seen, I've seen some of your videos too. Please feel oh. free and watch. And she's always on Instagram and you can find her. I'll put her just the, the I'll put I her information on below. Instagram. I'm on there so much. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she'll do your readings and she'll, and what else can you do? Um, Akashic records. Um, I, I do tap into Akashic records. Um, I do regular readings. I do spiritual readings, which is another great topic on finding our spiritual, what are, what we're supposed to do on our spiritual path. Like those are different from regular readings. I think it's kind of accessing like who your gods, who your deities, who your ancestors were. Cause some people are, again, are start like they're digging in their roots now. And these are people that are going, I want to know. So spiritual readings are for that purpose. And uh, it helps them build their altar and, you know, like just know what to do to get a connection with their, with what their divine purpose is. And uh, I do uh, Metatron uh, energy healings as a whole, you know, it's kind of connected to, in a sense, in tuning and releasing and transforming. And uh, I do Olympias and that's very connected to my Aztec energy. And uh, I you know, I'm still learning and I'm still growing. So again, that's, you know, I'm, I'm, le- I'm putting more things on my list to do things to help people. Okay. So again, if you guys, I love her. Normal. Oh, yeah. I love her normal. So that, I, oh yeah, I do mediumship and channeling as well. And that's, I feel very connected to my paranormal aspects, but I love it. So if you, if you are drawn to her and you feel like this is it, this is the person I would like to like get to know my my things, my spiritual journey, go ahead, feel free to contact her. She's super nice, super sweet, very patient. <laughs> and, and goofy. <laughs> yes, super goofy, super chill to talk to, so you'll enjoy her. <laughs> and until next time, I hope you guys enjoy this channel and the video. Please give a share, a like, and subscribe for more. Hopefully, we'll come back again in another episode and talk. Yeah. <laughs> and if you yeah. guys have any suggestions you can leave it in the comments below and I'll, we'll be free to, to talk about it so thank you Alicia. thank you Maria and we will keep in touch alright you have a great day stay safe
Bye.